Hi everyone, welcome you all to Deep Matrix. So this is going to be the new series in our channel. So we are going to look into what Kubeflow is and this is going to be the first video in the series. So in this video, we'll be looking into how to uh, you know install this Kubeflow and how to run in our local system so that in the futuristic videos, we can use the UI support and the toolkit to work with pipelines, okay? So let's look into what Kubeflow is. So it's more like a machine learning toolkit for Kubernetes. So as we all know, nowadays like machine learning has been used everywhere. Uh, when I when we say machine learning, like it cannot be executed as a single job. It has to be done in a pipeline format because like a, a steps in ML is you know very complex because like it includes various steps such as pre-processing, hyperparameter tuning, training the model and uh, you know doing the deployment and uh, creating an API for it and all those things are comprised. So if we do it in a pipeline, pipeline format, it would be very easy for us as a developers so that like we can do the reiteration again and again with minimal changes. Uh, I hope like you all have known, you know, the basic processes of DevOps, like we'll develop something and obviously it will go for multiple iterations and the new features will be added and it will redeploy it into the production. So that is it. So just imagine the same here, but we are going to do it only for machine learning models. So as I said, Bo, like it makes artificial intelligence and ML simple, portable and scalable because like uh, since it's a Kubernetes, the scalability part of the pipelines also comes into the picture. So what are the components of Kubeflow? So as I said, the way first thing first, it is going to have a pipelines and we can also develop notebooks inside Kubeflow. We can create dashboard like for Kubeflow central dashboard and once we develop the model, we need to deploy it to some server. So model serving is something for which we're going to use KServe. And model training and auto ML are going to be the part of the pipeline. So, so here is a basic workflow, how a Kubeflow pipeline looks like. So as you can see, this is very similar to what we see in CECD as well. So in this image, you can see Initially, we are downloading the data and pre-processing the data, training the data and deploying the model. So like it's very similar to what we do in CACD. The only difference is uh, since it's a Kubernetes one, we already know it's a container orchestrator. So all these steps has to be containerized first and built into an image. So once the image is built, we can use it back in our pipeline and we can execute it uh, without any issues. So that's it about Kubeflow. Now let's look into the installation part. So what we need to do is let's go here. Kubeflow local deployment. So let's search for Kubeflow local deployment. You will see a local deployment page. So you can go here on K3 so here we will see a Docker desktop. So in order to run a Kubeflow, you have to make sure you have a Docker desktop. So install Docker desktop in your uh, system first. So once it is done, we need to uh, deploy the Kubeflow. So, so Docker desktop is ready, but in order to run the Kubeflow, we need a Kubernetes cluster first. Uh, I think in my uh, one more video, I have explained how to install Minikube, uh, but like uh, you can also go through, you know, a number of videos in the internet where you can see how to install Minikube. So just make sure you have Docker desktop and Minikube. So let me minimize my screen. So let's open a Docker desktop. So I already have an image called k Test Minikube Kickbase. So on, you can see the status is in use. So it is already running. Let's look into the installation. So or else let me stop it. So I just open the terminal. 
so since my docker desktop is up uh, a command to check is docker images so if you start seeing the image then you can uh, be sure that you know your docker desktop is running so my docker desktop is running now i'm going to start my minikube okay so the command to uh, kickstart minikube is minikube start so as we can see it is restarting the you know existing docker container because i have minikube installed but if you don't have minikube like you know you have to run certain set of commands to install it and to start it so minikube has been started so now you can see my minikube is running so now let's open the minikube dashboard okay so minikube uh, before that i'll show you how to add a dashboard first minikube add-ons list so this will show you all the third party supports that minikube can get so right now the green color tick marks uh, will tell you these features are enabled for my minikube so right now i have a registry cred i have a storage provisioner and i have a dashboard provisioned okay in case if you don't have this dashboard so the command to do it is minikube add-ons enable dashboard so due to mk add-on enable enable failed okay add-ons enable okay it's a spelling mistake so dashboard so the dashboard add-ons is enabled so if you don't have it will enable but i already have it so that's why like within seconds it is showing it is already enabled so i can start dashboard okay so my dashboard has been started so now i have you know namespace such as default node list cube public cube system cube per net is dashboard okay so now what we need to do is we need to create a namespace with a name cube flow and we have to put our cube flow toolkit into that okay so this is what we are going to do so let me minimize this because like this is going to be running continuously so now let me open one more terminal so this is where i am going to execute my commands so let's go to google as i said we'll go to local deployment so now we have docker desktop and we also enabled our minikube and minikube dashboard now let's deploy our kubeflow pipeline so deploying kubeflow pipelines so we just have to run these commands only so that it will get enabled so let me do command c so i am setting my version as 2.2.0 so now i need to run this three commands so these are nothing but my kubectl commands so this will basically create a namespace for me and after creating a namespace it will create all the applications or you can say deployments into that uh, namespace so it will take few minutes um, because like since we are doing it for the first time uh, it will take 5 to 10 minutes to kick start uh, the you know creation process and everything so now you can see a uh, certain uh, things has been created the very first thing is a namespace called kubeflow is created so let's go to dashboard kubernetes dashboard so right now we are at default so now you can see kubeflow here so let me click here so you can see uh, it is creating uh, certain things so few things are created and few things are under failing because it will take a few minutes to create all this so now you can also check this via kubectl get pods hyphen a so now you can see everything is running and one of the workflow controller is throwing an error so let's see what happened so now we can see 10 deployments are running and pods are also running and my replica set is also you know six failed so now we can see the failed state is getting you know lesser one after the other so we have to wait for few minutes 
after that like once we saw full green here like we can you know good to go so now everything is up and running so my workloads are you know completely full so now let me go to local deployment so we deployed our kubeflow pipeline into the uh, mini cube now how we can you know uh, make the kubeflow ua accessible so command c we have we need to run this command so it is running at uh, you know it is connecting the 3000 port to 8080 so now let me go here so local host 8080 so now we can see my pipeline has been like my pipeline um, ua has been created so here we can you know either create a pipeline so you can also get a tutorial how to do it and next is you know we can see experiments and our runs will be managed here recurring runs if any artifacts are created that will be saved here and our execution list will be you know created here so let's i am also pretty new to it let's look into it how is it like so it's like a very basic one let's create a run one of custom pipeline root let me start so what happened okay something is not working So this is one more pipeline where so in this pipeline we can see we have a pre-processing script an output data set two path train model so likewise a basic version of pipeline has been created but like this is the overall picture like now i hope you all get what kubeflow is it's nothing but a ml flow pipeline orchestrator where you can run your ml flow scripts as images and you can you know get uh, results real quick the main advantages are it's very portable because like we are dealing with images and we can also you know make it very scalable so see you in the next one in coming videos we'll be looking into how to build this machine learning python script images and how we can run it through kubeflow pipeline okay so i hope you all like this video do subscribe our channel uh, see you in the next one until then enjoy learning thank you